yo welcome back everybody to the channel on today's video i will be installing my new digital dash from aim this is the first time i'm using my gopro to uh make make any videos big shout out to my wife for getting this for me uh i got the computer already here see i got my phone now you feel me i don't need i don't need to use my phone no more Oh, got a little front facing thing going on. But yeah, got a computer ready so we can use the, the, damn, I forgot what it's called. The, uh, Ray Studio. Yeah, the Ray Studio 3. That's, that is the program that is used to, uh, set up the whole interface of the dash. Uh, yeah, I'm still new to this stuff. So there's three different versions of this. Well, actually six, but three are the same ones. So this is not the, the data logger one that costs like 2,500. This is just a regular one that does everything else except the data, data logging, I believe. This is the discrete version, not the, the standard version. The standard version looks like this with, with one, two, three, and four. The street version has the icons that gives you like, like turn signals and stuff like that. But this is a street. This whole thing right here is actually separate. I'll leave links in the description on where to purchase these things. You're gonna need a 23 pin can harness. You're gonna need a fuel sending unit and then little, little 719 connectors. So let's get this unboxed and uh, show you exactly what comes in the package from AIM. All right, so yeah, so what comes in the package, right? There's three different versions of this. See, this is why I got my phone, because now I can use my phone. I ain't gotta use, use my phone to record and I can look up shit. So yeah, you have the MXS, which is the five inch screen. You have the MXP, which is the, the six inch screen and then you have the mxg which is the big face roly the seven inch screen they are right here that's how they look you see huh? yeah mxs mxp mxg so oh yeah you have to get the one if it's going in the swap car like mine, something like that, you have to get the one that is the CAN cable ECU. All right? And then the, if you want the discrete version like mine's, you get the MXG with icons. I don't know if they sell the 23 pin harness in the in the box, but I haven't found it nowhere like that. It, it, it was only separate. So once you open it up, You got your aim stickers once you open it up. Man, you got the big face. Oh, oh that bit dope. Oh, that shit is nice. So yeah, so once you take that out, this this is how the back of it looks. You have the uh, the rear camera. 14 pin plug and then the 23 pin plug put it to the side now from the side you have your uh you have the 14 pin plug which goes to your ecu ground power you have the the usb so you can upload your settings from the computer that we have you have your data cable. And then this is if you wanted to make your own 23 pin with flying leads or run it straight to the, the cluster harness. I'm not doing that. I'd rather just buy it pre-made so it's like somewhat plug and play. But that's what comes in the box for about $1,400. And then, so 
I'll leave links to everything, everything like I said. So this is the, the 23 pin harness. So this, so this is where you will hook up your, you have, I think it's about seven or eight, eight like channels. These are called flying leads. So basically, if you wanted to use that channel two or channel one for your left turn, and then, and then like channel two for your right turn, channel three for your high beams, channel four for your for your low beams, one channel for your boost controller, your this, your that, your this, that, and the third. That's what these are for. But you have to you have to connect them. So so the way you do that is you get is you get these male fire lava for that connectors from uh you get these separate i ha i only got three because i'm because i'm gonna be hooking up my left turn my right turn and then my low beams that, that's what i'm hooking up there's those three and then you have to get the fuel sending unit to convert your your fuel sending thing to display on the the dash you have to get it with a flying lead already so this one is going to go to channel one while these are going to channel two three and four all right so first and first i'm going to uh remove my ecu which i'm probably gonna have to no i should be able to reach it but if you have an integra or EK, whatever, it'll be the same type of shit. So, this is all the stuff on my old harness. I'm basically going to tap into, you know, y'all, I might need some light for this. I don't know if y'all can see. All right, yeah, so it's about to get dark. So, I might have to do this in the garage closed before the mosquitoes get me. So I moved the SI low key. I'm thinking about giving it to my wife and, and like building it for her or like we build it together and like she has her own car, you know. Oh, uh, I did change, I, I did change the wheel bearing. That took a shit on me. I got an exhaust on there because it was open headers. Uh, I want to change these seats. Well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I am thinking about giving it to her, like, so that she can work on her own car. And, you know, it could be like a his and her type of ordeal. Get us a brand new car, get rid of the pilot, but the pilot, the pilot's a trooper though, you know, but, you know, every good trooper has to retire, you know, as a veteran right there, but it's time for a new recruit. So we think about getting a brand new car for the family and uh, giving this to her so she can she can hook it up the way she wants to hook it up. And I got my car in the garage and then we got the family car and the pilot will still be there on the side for just in case type of car, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, enough chit chat. Let, let me move out the coupe so I can put it more in the middle so I have access to the passenger side for the ECU one. But shit, I forgot to tell y'all, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. If I didn't already said it, which I don't think I did. But look what the homie Percy made for me, man. Damn, I'm trying to get the light dog. Like, look at that. And my brother David and his son at, uh, this was Eibach, I think, like two, three years ago. And that's love, man. Like, that's from the heart. And then he made me this one, too. So me and him at, uh, at uh, Russell PBIR when we uh, won uh, import face off. Yeah, like that's love, man. I appreciate you, my dog. Much love and respect, G. I gotta find a spot to hang these. I can't wait to get a bigger house though, man, because I wash and dryer in the garage. Mm -mm. Nah, nah. Anyways, back to the back to the install. So we got my light here. Oh, so 
Integras and and EKs, all that stuff is the same. Now you're gonna take off your, your bezel. See, see my wires are cut from my dash harness, but I have a diagram already so I know which one is the left turn, which one is the right turn, and which one is the low beams. And uh, and this yellow one is my is my fuel from my old from my old setup. So this is gonna be real easy. My ECU is right there. So I got gotta I gotta open up the cover to access the board. So let's do that now. I'm gonna unplug my ECU. I wanna get one of those those uh, little fancy mounts that go right here so I ain't gotta hang it. So I ain't gotta hang it like this. To be honest, I don't like the way it is. Alright, so once you remove the cover, you will see your board here. I'm running Handetta version four, right there. So these are your CAN connections, analog and digital. When you purchase your K-Pro, it comes with this little, this little plug. This is the same plug that you would use if you're doing a flex fuel sensor or if you're doing a, what I'm doing, the can harness. So I I believe is two wires. I can't remember what color. I will tell you guys in a minute. But but two wires go to the dash. Once you plug it in, once once you plug it in like this. So as reference to uh to right hand drive Kev's video, I'm just gonna run mines through the side through the side like this. Right here along the side to where it comes out. All right, so we have the ECU here. And then you have your harness that comes with the handetta, like I was telling you guys. So referring to the homie Kev video. I'm just going to follow his shit step by need. step. We're gonna simply place it here carefully. You can read the labels on the bottom to confirm where your ground is. And my ground is right here. So he placed his on the, we'll the digital side the of it, which would be right here. You see it say digital, and that one say, that one say analog. So it simply goes on like this. Just slide it on carefully because you don't want to bend these pins and you can kind of see like I say ground so you know you're putting it on right because these two are the ground so just slide it on all right there you go see that's on I think is the blue wire and the yellow wire for this connection very simple yeah so for just the blue and the yellow I'm not gonna be using the other ones Exactly like you said. Now this is for K swap cards. I know that the S300 is different. I got the wires running through, running through the side of the ECU. I'm probably not gonna cut mines, to be honest. I'm just gonna put back on the cover here so they don't, so they don't fly up. Cause I do plan on, on putting this car on a flex fuel. It's already on E85, but sometimes I be running into problems and I can't find any E85 stations. So it'll be nice to be able to put pump in here. Now I know that one, one of these wires or two of these wires are for the flex fuel, the flex fuel sensor. So I'm not gonna cut them, I'm just gonna leave them there. I just tape them up so so they are out of the way. All right, so boom. And the way that I ran it, that the blue and the yellow is on top, and these would just be taped up out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna grab my wire scrapers. I'm gonna scrape back 
those two wires. They're gonna be too short. So I'm gonna grab my soldering gun right here. I'm gonna grab some extra wire that I have. I'm gonna try and keep everything color coordinated. So I got the blue and I got the yellow. I'm gonna attach these to the ECU and then run them run them from the can harness to the ECU sits up on up on the dash over to uh to the dash to the to the cluster. All right, so you're gonna grab your 14 pin harness that comes with, with the dash, if you're buying this, whatever. Hopefully you're just watching, watching. These two are power and ground. You have your red wire power, black wire and ground. You could use the power from the ECU and the ground, but I'm not using that. The ground is going straight to the chassis and and my power is going to my switch panel, which is on a relay system. So that's a guaranteed 12 volts. All right. Then from there, you're gonna grab your white and your and your blue wire. The white one is your can positive. Your can positive. Your blue wire is your can negative. Let me make sure that I'm doing the right shit. Hold up. This is the main harness that we'll be using to connect to the ECU. Here we have the power wire. This can go to the ECU's power wire to power up the unit, but we will not be using that since it's not recommended. We will be putting this to a relay source to our fuse box. Here we have the CAN plus wire. This wire will be connected to the Honda's blue wire, which is the CAN E. So white the blue. Next, we have the CAN negative wire. This negative wire will be connected to the yellow wire. And on blue Honda, to yellow. These two wires will be used to send all, all the right, information. Bet. So I'm basically just following right hand drive get video, bro. All right, so I'll give y'all some light. So I have the 14 pin harness here and I went ahead and wired everything up. So like I said, the black is going to a ground that I have on the chassis. That is the best way to do it. Use a wire that is grounded directly to the chassis so you know that it's getting a good enough ground. This yellow wire is my 12 volt from my switch panel. That's going to the red wire. And then, then I ran, I ran the blue and yellow from the ECU underneath the dash from the bottom right there. And I brought those over and I connected, and I connected the white wire to the blue and then I connected the, the blue wire to the yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my soldering iron and solder these all together right now. All right, so I got my harness all heat shrinked up, taped, and uh, tucked away. I ran the USB cable along the side into the glove box so I can plug it in from there because I don't know where to drill and I kind of don't want to. So uh, it should technically turn on right now. So uh, where can I hold this and say do this with one hand? No, I probably can't. So let's grab the dash. Let's plug in. Let's plug in the 14 pin harness. Turn the dash on. Duh. I hope that shit don't fry. Oh shit! Let's go. Turn on this light. 
Oh, let's go. It looks like this because it doesn't have uh, anything loaded onto it right now. I have to like upload a f upload a dash with all of my sensors and stuff, but it works. I don't have the the ECU plugged in, but damn, that shit nice. All right, so working on the Iron Cannon Motorsports fuel sending unit. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description for everything I'm using here today. You have to get this to convert your fuel sending unit into MV or whatever, so it can display on the, on the dash. Make sure you order it with the pre, the pre-made 719. Okay, so it comes like this. It comes, it comes with the unit, a yellow wire, which on my harness, the fuel the, on the cluster harness, the fuel sending wire is, is also yellow. All right, so, so make sure you just, you just heat shrink that, attach it. This is in the way to so just look like it is that, but no, it's not. You see, yeah. So this is my wire for my cluster harness, which is the fuel gauge wire. You can pull up a diagram for, for your make and model. I'll leave the EG diagram link in the description. You wire the yellow wire to the box and that plugs into your 23 pin aim harness. I'm going to be putting this on channel on channel one and it just plugs in only one way like now this has a little groove this has a little opening for the groove and you just click it in that's it and then from there you go inside of ray studios and uh adjust it if also like and make the tank tank empty take a reading type in those numbers and fill the tank up take a next reading put in those numbers but i'm just gonna follow kev video and type in the same shit that he type in uh and then and then for channel two and three here's three and here's two so for these two for these two channels and four yeah and four so for these, for these three channels, I'm going to use two for my left turn, three for my right turn, and four for my low beams. So the way how, the way how that work, you have to get these right here. These are the male, the, uh, these are the male 719 leads. You basically, Unscrew it. Oops, wrong side. That's the side that you screw when you uh when you put the wire through. But basically, unscrew this side, and, and uh, you basically script back the wire that's on your your harness, and you put it onto. Let me, hold on. yeah. So make sure you're looking at it with that little gap, a little gap right there. I'll leave a diagram. I'll leave a picture on the screen right now. Okay, so you see on that picture, it's like this. This is how it is on the picture. You're going to put the wire on the top right, which is this one right here. So say for instance, I'm using my left turn wire. I'm going to script that back a little bit, push that wire in, and then I'm going to solder it. Push, push this piece over the wire so then it can, it can screw back on like so. And now, and now this piece is going to be on your harness. This piece is going to be on your harness, which is going to plug in to the channel. Well, I guess I can go to the gym Tuesday. I'm gonna have to go early that day. 
all right guys so as you can see say, say hi to the homie you're Man, you stealing my content again? Oh bro? my god, bro. Yeah, bro. So, damn. So, where is that? So, you see, I see I scraped back the wire and I have it going into the 719 just like that. So, all you do is drop a little bit of uh, solder on that. Hey, how you make the GoPro focus? I don't know if it can, bro. No. Well, I don't have a nine. I'm still stuck on a Hero Seven, bro. So I think if you touch the screen, it should be able to focus on what you just touched. Oh no. Anyways, so y'all see, y'all see, I got that solder on there on that one pin. Make sure that you put these pieces on first, so you can slide it up and tighten. And then, and then this last piece, this actually, this actually squeeze the wire so it doesn't draw out. Just like that. And once it's all tight, you plug it into your 719 on uh, whichever channel and you're good to go. All right, and this is the second one. I'm just gonna show you, I had, uh... So make sure that so make sure that the brush it up. So make sure. What's it called? I'm finna blow up for you, bro. So make sure that the wire isn't touching none of the other pins. So you'll have a shortage, and you don't want that. I got you, bro. I'm vlogging. Bet. Yeah, and uh, if anyone out there wants to uh, send me their aim, so I can do it for them. <laughs> I do offer a uh, free shipping to me and a no return policy. So uh, be sure to bang my line and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need that, bro. So you grab your harness. So I got my fuel sending unit on channel one. I'm going to be putting the left turn on channel two. There's only one way it can go in. See the groove. Groove right there, right there. So boom, it goes in just like that. That's it. Now that's done. And I'm gonna grab channel three, that's five. Channel three right here will be for the right turn. And that's it. That makes this harness done for me. In the future, if I wanted to add some more stuff, I still have about uh, one, two, three, four, five channels left that have that uh, I can add anything I want. So, so as you see, this is my my pin out right here. Left turn, right turn. Everything else here, like the the check engine light. The cooling, cooling temperature, like all of that stuff, the ECU reads. So there's no need for me to run that to it when the ECU is going to tell me exactly what all of these do. All right, so when you get over to your Race Studio 3, you're gonna click on the little gear, little gear icon, configurations. All right, you see I have a couple of them right here that I was playing around with, but I'm gonna start a new one. You're gonna click on new. It's gonna ask you what dash you're using. These are all, all of the different makes, MXG, MXP, the MXS. We're using the MXG 1.2 Shrada. So as this one, click okay. I'm gonna name this one uh, the site like test, whatever. Just to show you guys. Tests. Okay. It'll bring up a whole separate page of, of channels. So remember I was telling you guys with, with the 23 pin plug, you have 
you have these different channels. So one, two, and three. One is my fuel, two is my left, three is my right blinker. But we're gonna head over to ECU stream. I'm gonna click on that. It has a bunch of different cars and uh, ECU manufacturers. We're using the Handata ECU. So we're gonna click on that. It'll ask you, is it the K-Pro or the K-Pro CAN? We're using the CAN plug off of the K-Pro. So it'll be this one. You highlight that and click OK. And then you will notice it'll click all of these different, whatever these are, like the RPM, the speed, the gear, the, ET, the ECT, TPS, all, all of these will be, will be highlighted, which will send data from the ECU to the dash. So if if you, you head over to display, this is where you'll find like the, the the layouts. So you have this page of layouts, and then you have this page of layout. So like say for instance, I wanted to do uh, this one right here, right? So you click on that. You click. You click OK it'll pop it up here. And this is where you can add whatever you want to add to. So let's like say for instance, I want to make this section right here, my miles per hour. I'll double click on that. I'll head over to ECU and I'll make this the speed. I double click to make it. You see now I have the speed there, but it's showing in kilometers. So to fix that, you head over to ECU screen. You double click on ECU speed. You're gonna change that to miles per hour. If you wanna take out decimal point, you can, but I'm gonna leave decimal point there. So you click on save. You head back over to display. And now you see it's showing in miles per hour. Now say for instance, the, R, uh, the RPM. You see it go from 4,000 to 18,000. This ain't no bike. So the way you change that is you basically highlight it, right? Then you scroll over. See, my laptop is kind of small, but when you scroll over, you see it right there. So let's change that to about uh, to about 10,000. Now you see it change to 10,000. All right. So like now this, I can I can make this my gear. So same thing you double click on it head over to ecu head over to ecu gear and now it is a gear i can make this one my uh let's make let's make this one the cooling temperature so ect you see let's make this the let's make this the hmm, the iat let's make this the the TPS, all right, and you can change the words too. You can put like if you double click on it, you can. I'm gonna put Reverend. Reverends. <laughs> so boom, you do that. I guess you just hit enter, and I'll and I'll change over to Reverends. Uh. I'm I'm not too familiar with with the the alarms and stuff yet, but you can make you can make your your little shift light like that up there. That's how you change that. You can you can program the LEDs, which mine's is uh, the screen version, so mine's an icon. So like say for instance, I wanted to add a new alarm uh like blinker like all of this stuff you can go over to right hand drive kev video and like he break it down a lot more better than me that's how i learned how to do this i just basically follow the hit steps so so once so once that's done you just plug it in i have my cord and my cord right here which you just plug it in to your computer and then you will hit on transmit and they'll send over everything that you made here over to the dash. But before you do that, you need 
to open up your your Handata, your K manager, right? Open up your K manager, head over to uh, download your tune or open up your tune. Make sure you go, you plug your, your ECU on, you turn it on, you head over to multiplexer and matter of fact, let me do that now. Hold on. Uh, where's my ECU plug? Yeah, so let's plug in our ECU here. Oops, what dog fridge? You gotta plug it in to the computer first. Yeah, so let's plug in that. God damn. All right. Bomb. So you see our ECU is connected. We we'll head over, head over here. Go to online. Go to tools. I'm gonna just download mine because I never did. So my tune will download off of the ECU, and you head over to multiplexer. And right here, this this is gonna be is gonna be disabled. So so once you click on it. You head over to to Motec SDL slash ADL. We click on that on can output K404 only. So once you have that on, you just upload the tune and that's it. So now the computer will send the information from the computer to the dash. All right, so let's see how that look. I already hit transmit on before. So let's turn on the dash. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, bro, I got my dog oh, here. GoPro 9. Damn, I, with yeah. the Hold on, bro. With a flip up screen on there. I ain't turned it on yet though, you know? Even That's sick, bro. I got my dog That's doing got my dog doing some uh remote remote setting up for me. Oh yeah, we're setting this boy up with the sick aim that he went. No one else got this size of a display on their Civic at all. Not on the EG. No, not on the Integra either. That thing's huge, bro. You're gonna love this, the screen, the whole setup. It's way detailed. Wait until you get the rear camera too. You're gonna get the rear camera. Yeah, I got to, bro. I got to. But right yeah. now, my dog's setting up the uh, display messages for me and stuff. Shit, hella dope, bro. I get dog so much features in this damn dash. That shit is wild. It's a little overwhelming, but but Kev helped me out with a lot of shit, dog. All right, plug, plug, plug the laptop in there. I mean, let's go. Whoa, is your, char is your charger? Uh, it should be charged enough, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on now. Yeah. It's so real. And you can set your shift lights if you look here on the screen to put uh, progressive. Or you can do gear icons and you can do like every gear will have a different shift light pattern. You can have like blue, blue, green. And then third gear will be purple, green, yellow. And then fourth gear would be like all red. Like you can set it fully well, because you go here. Oh, uh, gear dependent shift lights. So when you do gear dependent shift lights, you can do maximum gears. You can do two, three. So, the, you know, if I keep clicking on it, but you can see, you can set up different shift points for different gear. So like you'll, so your first you'll gear pop up across the whole screen. Running. Yeah, like your, your first gear, your Turbo K, is gonna rip off fast. And you want your shift lights to come on a little quicker than normal, then you can set that. And then second gear, you keep it normal. Shit like that. This is very, 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 very detailed. I don't know what the fuck wrong with that one some more. That's crazy. And then your idle. So it's going to be very sensitive. So a little bit of gas is going to turn on the whole lights in a simultaneous way. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and click transmit. So right now you're going, we're transmitting a cold warning. Yeah. Then we're going to do an engine warm warning. And then we're going to do a engine overheating warning. And then I got the shift lights activated. So Right around idle, your shift light should go crazy because I got it at every hundred RPM from a thousand. So it should be fun to see everything light up. 
Um, definitely, I want to get your new display too. So while you do that, I'll work on the new display. Oh, <laughs> What happened? What's your boy, Engine Cold, bitch? <laughs> I can't see. I can't see what the fuck. Yeah, boy, Engine Cold, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so that trigger command will go away, I think, in a time in a time manner. So, like, that's one of the pages that, that you can do. Let me see if I can Oh, that's set it. crazy. Yeah, so you can set it to red, purple, green, blue, um... You can put it for a couple seconds. You can put five seconds until alarm end. So, for example, I'll do five seconds. And then I'm actually, I'm actually gonna cancel that one. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another warning. So you can see so you can see another warning that you can do, which is on the lower bottom. So that way it doesn't interfere with any of the visuals that you have going on right now on your display. It'll be time. How many H's? Yeah, three is fine. <laughs> This nigga died. Engine cold, bitch. Wait for that bit to warm up, bitch. I gotta play around with this shit some more, dog. This shit crazy. What's your normal temp when you drive? My fans cut on around 173. So, I say what? At 160? Yeah, it takes time, bro. But you, you, your, your car is going to be set up so when anything goes wrong, you're like perfect. Boy, Kev, no, all these little shits, bro. What LED icon? It was, it was uh, a seven, right? Well, for the, it's on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take it off right now. That's, it's not gonna light up anymore. It's gonna do something, but it's not gonna be constant. So was this like that when it's ready? Yeah, engine ready. Yeah. Oh shit, you got like different. They got checkerboard. What? Mechanic? What? Yeah, literally. What do you want your, your message to be when your car is good? I don't even know. I'll put engine ready. All right. And then for the other one, we're gonna change it. We're gonna change the message to the lower message until the command. And we're gonna make this blink too. We're gonna make it slow blink. So you know the car is cold. Oh, that is fucking wild. You might want to open the garage. <laughs> Think so? We're gonna let it warm up. We're gonna let it warm up. Your car shouldn't be at zero. It's gonna be like fucking ninety. So at one hundred five is when you're gonna see that transition. You might want to record this. Your GoPro. It's recording right now. I've been recording the whole time. Oh, you got blue. Oh, that's just, that's just yeah. Like, yeah. But you, be, but you, the, but the, you got the blue. The yeah. Yeah, that's blue up there. Click, click the little button on the bottom right of the, of the monitor, of the screen. It should, it, should, it should pull up the next page. Oh, the view. Yeah, view. Oh, shit. Did the second display show up? Yeah, bro. But it doesn't have anything set up yet, though. It doesn't no. have like. It ain't nothing set up yet. Yeah, so we'll go to the other one. But it is blue though, and it should change green. And it's green. Crank that bitch up. Yeah, I want to see it. Oh, oh, oh that's you like a race car, though. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. You see how sensitive I put the LED lights? That's not gonna work when you're running, you know. Well, then at one more, I think at 105, they should, they should uh, switch. What? So this should go away at 105. It'll just, everything will change, yeah. Right, yo, we at 91. I gotta hold the gas because there's no IAC on this shit. Oh shit. It went away at 100. 
bumble claw <laughs> engine ready yo that's sick no oh, that shit's sick bruh alright shut it off your mile an hour like if you're speeding you can spend a speed zone to like slow down like if you go over 90 miles an hour 100 you say slow down or something like yeah, that tell you slow down what the fuck whatever you want it to do whatever like all these things right here you can make it do something voltage if you if you fall like zero voltage you can make it say zero voltage as a warning you can make the map sensor ignition you can make anything a warning anything y'all hear that bro the aim dash is to move, bro. That's the. Look, move you have odometer, uh, odometer, and everything. Like you can, you can have your shit zero miles. Bro. So what we're doing is we're gonna create a command for engine overheating. So right now, realistically, we want it at one ten, just to just to test it, because you know the car is in the garage right now. But we'll we'll, we'll put it to the right temperature. Anything over 190, bit, I'm pulling over. Nah, nah, that's, that's nothing, bro. Yo, my fucking Integra will go like 220. Nope, nope, not 190. It overheating for me. And we're going to make this a fast linky one so you do not miss it. Yeah. While you're driving like that. And then we're going to display the measure, which is it's the sensor to be red. And this one you can do you already saw you already saw the um the lower message which is cold yeah that one can stay on for as long as you want or it could go away or the pop-up like when you want a pop-up like go engine overheating you do a pop-up i need to know yeah let like that bit pop up we'll do it five seconds we'll do it we'll do a five second pop-up in your face or a 10 second pop-up in your face and then it'll go away but then it'll display on the on the thing at the bottom I don't know if I can do it at the bottom. No, I can't do it at the bottom. I can do it either or. But your icons will be, your light will be blinking on the right. And your, your and the icon will be on. Yeah, but at least you get like that big light. Like, yeah. You know, you listen to music and you get like, like in your face, like red. So we'll do that. And then we'll, we'll modify the, um, the engine ready one to, to not go as high at 105. So I think we can, we can leave it at like, 10, like 100 or 101. Keep it like that, and then we'll do 105. And then one second, I want to modify your pages real quick. I want to give you something different to look at. And because I look, you want to see what the heck you got, because you got a lot of cool stuff on here. Boy, kept quick with that shit, man. You got a lot of cool shit. Like, you got one that's just all information, which is this one right here. Literally, you can display all your information this here. This information, yeah. That's with the 1.2 shit, though. Yeah. We'll do this one. I think, I think you'll like this one. Hold on. Which one has more sense? This one has three. This one has two. We'll do this one. Let's so crank it back up. Yes, sir. I'm say engine hot. Change the face? Yeah. I don't mind seeing the freedom on this plane. I don't know how I had that before like this. Yeah. Put the tap on it. Is the engine hot? Yeah. So that set, I said I said I want that. Just so you can see an example of how it'll look when it's red. Yeah, yeah. And that shit, ble oh, fuck, that bitch raw. And then the top two on the top left? Yeah. The 113 is in red and shit. Change the display. Oh, that 
shit raw as fuck. Oh, that's some F1 car shit, dog. Shit, literally. All right, so it is the next day, and like I said, I got my package. This is a company out of Australia called. Let me not pronounce this wrong company is called Mako Motorsports. That's them right there. This is what they specialize in. When I say, say Honda and head over to the fifth gen, which is 9295. And this is pretty dope, bro. These are the cleanest gas mounts I have ever seen. So you can get it like that, but I did the custom cutout, and then you can click on the manufacturer. They have AEM, AIM, uh, blank, ECU Master, Fuel Tech, Hard Tech, Harley Power Tune, Race Pack, Race Technology, all that stuff. So we got the AIM, and these are different models. If if you click on AEM, it shows you the CD5 and CD7, all that stuff. So with the AIM, I got the MXG, and it'll basically come like this. But what I did was went a step ahead and I got the recess. So what that does, you see, it sinks it in. It sinks it in and let's show it. Oh, bro, come on. Come on, this is the only manufacturer that I see making them like this, bro. Which it mounts up like a regular cluster. Same thing with the Integras and stuff like that. You can even go a step above that. Let's, let's make it an MSS. Let's, uh, let's do the recess, let's show. You can even do, do like some extra stuff. You can add pods, 52 mil and 60 mils like that. Bro, that's dope. And you can even do lights, like turn signals, ABS, batteries. So as I want turn signals on there, now you see I got the turn signals on there. But luckily my dash already have the turn signals built into it, but they have all of these, yo. Even with, even with Integra. So if you wanna go to Integra, we can do the same custom loadout. I mean, cutout, aim, we can do the we can do the MXP. Let's do reset so it sinks in and let's show it. Bruh. Flames. Flames. If you guys are interested in doing something like this and you're looking for a dash mount, make sure you holler at Mako Motorsports. Yeah. Fire. Alright, well, let's finish getting this unbox. Grab the razor blade. And you cut the tape so I don't cut the actual amount. Right. Oh, this shit gonna be so dope. This ain't no cheap type of material neither, bro. This is like, I don't know how they cut it to be so goddamn precise. I don't know what type of material this is. It's not plastic, yo. It's just something else. Bro. That's dope. So, let's go ahead and take out the dash and uh, mount it. So, it's already pre-drilled. Aim has these uh these little like spacers here. It's for them, but these won't work. They're too short. 
So I'm gonna have to get stop by your nearest Home Depot, Ace, whatever, and get you some. Uh, what is it? Get you some M4.7 screws. All right, that is the size you're gonna need. M4 by seven. So simply all you do, you see that slot? Because this is the biggest one they make. So they have to make that slot there. You drop, you drop that into the slot. And boom. Turn it around. And everything lines up. All of the holes line up. So let's get this mounted. All right, guys. So it's finally some daylight outside. So I can give you guys a real nice look with the AIM dash and the Mako Motorsports dash mount. Let's go to the faces again so you guys can see them all. Just making the car, just making the car warm up so I can take it around the block one time. See when it got to 100, it said engine ready. Oh, that bit, that shit fresh. You gonna come with me? Yeah. Okay, close the door. We're just going around the block, okay? I promise I won't speed. Is it loud? Don't press this button down. What button? This. What does that button do? Make it go fast. <laughs> <laughs> don't press it. I'm not going to press it with you. Yeah. All right, well. All right, well, my first impressions are it's fast. It's very sensitive, like immediately. Even downshift. And that was third right there. And the RPM is, is spot on. Fuel is not jumping around, it's staying steady. Like, and this, like, yeah. Like, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. Big gear, like, like, this thing is on point, man. All right, so my honest impression of this dash is on point. I love it. Uh, Especially with the whole dash mount kit, like I would just sit it's like, like perfect. Very happy with everything, and uh, that pretty much sums it up for this whole video. I know, I know it was quite a long video, but then again, y'all know me. I made my videos very detailed, and I try like to add everything because I did a whole bunch of research and. The only person that had a video that went down into detail was Kev, so I had to make my own. So I know it may be long, but whatever. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you guys were interested in getting one of these and everything that I got, read the description down below. That's where I have all of the links to everything. Also, I got links to all of the discounts as well. But sorry for this video being so long, but I try to I try to show you guys everything because this was a mission. I, I ain't gonna hold you. There was a lot of little stuff here and there that that you gotta get right. And big shout out to Ryan Drive Kev for logging in and, and showing me all the stuff I couldn't figure out, like the Miller bolts with the left turn, the right turn, setting up the warnings for me and all that. I appreciate you, bro. Big shout out to Al, big shout out to the other Kevin up in Georgia, Kev View. Uh 
for letting me know about the whole flying leads and 719 connectors and, and how to all wire that stuff up. So yeah, fam, so my bad for the video being this long, but you know, it is a lot of little tedious stuff I had to I had to do. So I know the video probably gonna be long as hell, but whatever. Can't say I ain't show y'all what to do, you know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all like, subscribe, and uh, next video will be at the track on the 9th saturday at palm beach international raceway i'll see you guys there read the description that's where you find all of the information and uh live your life god bless i'm out peace say bye